Yes, we Lord. made it to the middle of the week. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. And I, I give God glory. I thank each one of you for making it out to the house tonight on a Wednesday night. Friday. There's a word in the house. Thank you, Lord God. We're going to be in the book of Galatians. Thank you, Lord God. We're going New Testament tonight. We're going New Testament tonight. In the name of Galatians. If you want to go to Revelation and start walking in, you would do all right. Amen. Some of you are like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Let me get you there. Let me get you there. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you all, but with the weather and things like that, you know, we thank God that we're all right. But, you know, my sinuses, as you know, definitely so. Yeah, yeah, so I'll just keep the pastor in prayer. <laughs> Sinuses has just been, oh, but I give God the glory. He's like, well, how can you feel that way? Well, we live in this world. That's right. Not from this world. That's right. So we're subject to the things that are in the atmosphere. That that's is. right. So that's why we catch colds. You're that's like, right. God is a healer, but you're going to catch a cold. That's right. That's so right. That's right. We'll have a little ache every uh -huh. once in a while. Yep. We live in this world, but we're not from this world. That's so right. So we're subject to it, but we know who our healer is. That's right. Amen. Yes, so Lord. Yes, Lord. Decreeing and declaring by stripes, I'm, I'm healed. healed. By in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I yes, have Lord. a mind. I, I'm rich. I'm yes, strong. Yes, I'm yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank Lord. You, Lord. Oh, my God. Rich. Hallelujah. We start going up some mantles tonight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. If you've been in this house, we do a lot of movement up in here. Uh -huh. Nobody sits still. I don't see how you can manage it. Just sit and sit. We throw mantles. Yes, Lord. We get touchdowns. In the name of Jesus. Feel yeah. God. Yeah. Slap yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> chapter 5 tonight. Amen. All right, Lord. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That's where we're starting. I, and like I said, I love Wednesday night fire. It's an opportunity for us to eat the word and feast on it in the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 5. When you get there, say amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Some deep text tonight. All right. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Fathers, we thank you, dear Lord, for blessing us tonight. We're asking Holy Spirit for your leading, for your guiding, for your direction in and throughout the word. We're asking Holy Spirit you'd have your way in the service and you'd minister to our hearts. Give us a teachable spirit. Lord God, we tear down any spirit of disobedience, Lord God. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, we try to Jesus. hinder or try to distract us, Lord God, from being attentive unto your word, Father yes, God. Lord. We cancel that up. My God, right yes, now, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let the spirit of the Lord God be heard tonight. Yes, in the yes name Lord. Of Jesus, let yes, them who have an ear hear what the spirit of the yes, Lord. Lord God is saying. Yes, and we Lord. said amen. Amen, amen. Lord. Galatians chapter 5, and uh, we're going to be beginning at verse number 16. Amen? Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. The word of the Lord God says, it says, I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the what? The lust of the flesh. Amen. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these two are what? Contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish to do. But if you are, this is our key verse, if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his almighty word. Amen. 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 Tonight, if you're taking any notes, I'm making the title tonight, Be Led to Be Fed. Amen. 
All right. Be led wow. to be fed. Come on now. You're like, all right, be led to be fed. Tell your neighbor, be led. Be led to be fed. To be fed. What we're talking about, we're talking about the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A lot of times that we like to follow. How many of you like to follow directions? Oh, Tell the truth. I, okay, yeah, I know. Lord. Don't raise yeah. your head all at once. Calm down. Calm down. I like to know who. I, now you just keep looking forward. I, okay, this is how you know if you like to follow directions. If there's a cake that needed to be baked, or, or there's a project you gotta put it together, and you take the time to read step number one, open the package. Step number two, and if you do that, uh, you know, without any hesitation, that means you like to follow directions. Now, once again, how many of you like to follow directions? We got just a really? handful of people. Is this a truth? It's good. When you deliver, you can talk about it. Because the rest of us, we just tad open, put that in there, throw that in there, add it. You add two, three cups, four, five, four. And that's not true. You put something together, you got extra pieces. Where do extra pieces come from? There's no such thing as extra pieces. They give you all the components that you need if you read the directions. There's no extra screws, no extra bones. I'm saying that because. You know what? As spiritually, we gotta learn how to what follow directions. directions. And a lot of times, we don't like to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. God tell you to go left, you wanna go right. So I'm here to tell you, those of you who like to follow instructions, it may not be hard for you to follow the Holy Spirit. Now the rest of us, the rest of us in here, it's gonna take a little bit more time because we like to do things our way. Come on now, it takes us time. God will tell us to do one thing, and but the Lord God is telling us in the Word tonight, as I said, be led to be fed. That means we've got to be leaning toward the Holy Spirit. And in case you don't know, some of you may not know that we represent, we love God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And we call the Holy Spirit. I'm letting you know about the Trinity. Because, you know, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. A lot of people would like to know, well, who is the Holy Spirit? If you want to get a real good, clear idea of who the Holy Spirit is, it's the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. So if you're wondering if you have a spirit, well, God has a spirit too. And the Holy Spirit is his spirit. So when you hear the passage when they talk about don't grieve the Holy Spirit, that means don't make God feel bad. Come on now. Come on now. That's nice and plain. Even a baby can pick that up. And if you can understand that, we have God the Father which is Almighty God. We have God the Son, which is Jesus Christ, who sits at the right hand of the Father in us. And the Holy Spirit is here with us. You're wondering, whenever we're praying, when we're asking for help, it's really the Holy Spirit. You're calling upon the name of Jesus. But you want you to know that the Holy Spirit is the one who's going to pick you up. Because He is here with us. The Bible tells us in John, in John 14, I believe that he said that the, I said I'm gonna leave you with another. I'm gonna leave you with a comforter. Amen. He's called the Holy Spirit. He said that's why Jesus spoke when he was on the cross. He said I've got to go away. He said I can't be with you. I've got to go away. And, and most of people, people of course, including myself, if I would have been there, we're like, Lord, why do you gotta go? Why do you have to be crucified? Yeah. He said I have to go because I'm leaving the comforter. I'm leaving mm. the one who will be here with you always. My the God. Holy Spirit was Thank here in the beginning. You, He's going to be here when you leave. Thank you, Lord. Yes. The Bible says in Jim, when he created the heavens and the earth, the Holy Spirit hovered over the waters. Mm. Yes. So if he was here, surely enough, you'll be gone and the Holy Spirit will still be here. Yes. I wanted to give you that identification as to who the Spirit, Holy Spirit is. He's not an it. He is a person. Mm -hmm. Most right. people get that confused. And some of you, probably why your prayers are not being answered because you keep calling him it. Mm. Oh, out and amen. I was I was there before, but I didn't know any better, and I kept saying it's going to no. It, it, the Holy Spirit is not a, it is a he. It's a he. He's a third person of the Trinity. If you refer to him as a he, as a person, just as you are a person, you'd be surprised how I many of your prayers mm. will not be so hindered because you're not oh. calling him an it. You're calling him he. Somebody, that's a nugget right. right there for somebody. Yep. Just take that and eat that up. Amen. Mm. In the name Amen. of Jesus. With that being said, the Spirit of the Lord God is trying to tell us tonight that we've got to learn how to walk in the Spirit. Mm. Tell your neighbor, walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. Tell your neighbor, walk in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord God said, when you learn how to walk in the Spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That means, people of God, that means you have a, a life walk with Christ. Yeah. Whenever you're walking with the Lord, you have a, a very Different rare walk. tendency yeah. to cut up and do things you shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Yeah. I use cut up because that's our everyday mm -hmm. language. Because see, when you're operating in the flesh, flesh will have you perform. Oh, yeah. Am I right about it? How many of you know about that yeah. flesh? Uh, 
Flesh almost got some of us today. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Flesh almost. It's not but the grace of God that comes to the day. Grace and mercy. Thank you, Daddy. Grace. Hallelujah. Because, and that's exactly what the flesh likes to do. It likes to get us out of our godly character. And you know, whenever we're talking about the flesh, that's just old human nature. You know, when God delivered you from cussing and fussing. Uh, all right. Uh, all right now. Uh, Don't you name it. Uh, Come on now. Some of us, God, still got the tape on you. It's all right. Yeah. So he's still working on it. You got some construction tape that says God's still because don't act, don't sit up in here like you ain't never come on now. Right? Like not just yesterday. <laughs> uh, 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 five minutes ago. All right now. Because sometimes things get rough, but I must I'm telling you what when you can be set free, you can come and say, Lord God, it was me who said Amen. Amen. You know, it was Amen. I. And I, let me make it clear, and I say this so often. Most time when I say cursing, you're like, oh, you said such a bad. Negative words are that's cursing. Right. Yes. That's that's right. Right. Every time you start talking negative yep. about something, yes. that's, that's, like, that's like cursing. Amen. You're cursing the promises of God. Yes. So you My know God. that's why I try to stay away from negative words. Yes. You know, turn that uh, maybe into Lord God. Uh, not yet. You yeah, know, yeah, turn yeah, it yeah. around. But yes. don't, you yeah. know, because you keep talking negative words, you may not realize it's a curse. I, I know that's not in our notes, but I need to clarify that with some people. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Whenever you say negative words against your children, you realize you're cursing them? Yeah. Come, on. Come on. You didn't even call them a bad name, but you told them they weren't going to be nothing. Oh, yeah. And how you think that word Jesus. will? The Bible said the mm, idle words. Words come out. Do you realize that's the things you continuously say? That's why you got to start saying blessed things over your children, yes, even when they're cutting up. Come on. Yeah. Now. Just right. tell them that they're the head and not the that's tail. Right. They're above and not beneath. Right. They, look, be telling them you're blessed coming and you're blessed going. Yeah, you're yeah. blessed in the city, yeah. blessed in the... Everywhere that you go that you're blessed. Yes, you start decreeing and declaring that they're blessed because there's power in words. I want you to know that even negative words are considered a curse word. So in case somebody say, I never curse, and you're talking negative, that's, that's a it. cursing to me mm -hmm. because you're speaking negative into my realm and I, don't, I will not have it. Come on now. Amen. The word of the Lord God said we must learn how to walk in the spirit. That's what the led to be fed. God bless, God bless you. you. You gotta learn to be led to be fed. In order for you to be spiritually nourished, we are children of God. Amen. Amen. Talk to me, Saint Where We are people of God. And if you are children of God, then you should not be led by the things of this world. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Yes. Uh, uh, come on now. It, it takes and let me let me share this with you. Once you get saved. Most people think that all of us say, yes, there is a great transformation that takes place when you get saved. But I want you to know that the Spirit of the Lord God resides and He is awakened in you. But that don't mean your mind got saved. All right. That's yeah, the some truth. of us, we still, we still mm -hmm. operating in our flesh. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you that it takes a process. You see, when I got saved, nobody told me that my mind wasn't going to get saved. That That's day. right. That's I, right. I was only told in my spirit, man. That's so right. I was up there thinking, I'm going to start doing everything saved. right. And I was still doing And I kept thinking that I wasn't saved. I was at the altar all the time. Save me. Save me. Save. Anybody, anybody else been there before? Well, nobody ever told you that your mind doesn't get saved that day? It's nope. just your spirit, man. So every time you do something wrong, you're at the Lord. Save me again. Save me again. And you know, it's only one time you need to be saved. Amen. Amen. But see, but you're not, but your mind, I'm saying that because your mind has to be worked into the process. You have to be God. led by the Holy Spirit. You got to be led to be fed. Whenever you're led, that means you, you're unctioned by the Holy Spirit how to do things right. Some people wonder when you're led by the Holy Spirit, it'll tell you. He'll tell you how to dress. Yes. Come on now. Yes. He'll tell you how to yes. talk. Come on now. Yes. Yes. See, when you're led to be fed, yes. that you know what? All of a sudden, nobody has to tell you that's true, that, that, that you shouldn't be wearing that. All right. Oh, now. Nobody ain't got go to tell you that. Come on, you know, Lord. Nobody got to go over there and drink no cloth on you. Hello. Come on, Lord. Man. Come on, no, Lord. Because when you're led to be fed, the Holy Spirit, all of a sudden, you will get an unction in your spirit, man, yeah. to say, this is, I, I'm, you begin to feel a little yeah. uncomfortable. I don't know if some of you were in here, but when the Lord God was allowing the message on Sunday, when you're delivered, you can talk about, I was wearing something that I thought was very, very nice and appropriate, but it was bothering me because it was at a particular length that I'm not used to wearing anymore. Come on now. You're like, well, right. it was already to your knees. That's all right. I like it longer than that. And it's not because I, I'm disgracing anybody. It's the way the Spirit of the Lord God leads me. Because I don't want to give anybody any indication that I'm trying to do something that I'm not trying to do. And not everybody's delivered in the house. Come, Come on. on. You know, not Come everybody's on. looking at the spiritual side. Some That's people look at right there. That's good right there. I don't there. think I'm... Uh, Hello. The devil come to church too. Hello. Oh, no. Hello. Now, today, man, Hello. Come on. Hello. So not everybody delivered from the spirit Hello. of lust. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, we're in the house. We're oh, come on now. Man. Every 
everybody's yeah. not there, and I realize that. All right. So, but see, when you're led by the Spirit, I'm using myself as an example, so I don't have to put anybody else out. Because of that, I felt like I needed to drape a little more. So I draped, I wore something a little, it was even hotter than what I was in before. But I did that only because I was led. But I'm led to be fed, because I didn't want to give anybody any indication yes, or Lord. lure them in any way Amen. that was wrong. Amen? Amen. And I'm saying that because when you're led to be fed, that the Holy Spirit will direct you in a particular way as to how to dress, how to communicate, what to say, what not to say. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Lord God. Yes, the, Lord. Word of the, the word of the Lord God said, look in verse 16, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I want you to know that that's trying to tell you that there will be some things that will that are automatically there. We live in this world. I just said that. There are things we live in this world, but your des desire to do it won't be there anymore. Amen. That's when you're let when you're walking Amen. with the Lord, your desire begins to change. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord when you're God. Walking with the Lord, yeah, yeah. you don't want to do the things that you used to do. You don't want to go the places that you uh, when yes, used to go. Lord. You don't want to say. And some of us we decide just want to change. Mm. The Bible said that when you got saved. And you know what? That when you got saved, you believe that, Lord, I want to change. I want a whole new and I want a whole new set of friends. Yes. I want a whole new... That, but do you realize that's the leading of the Holy Spirit? Yes. That's yes. telling you, you know what? I'm trying to strip you out of the flesh and let you walk in Come on. Now you yes. strip you out of the flesh. So come that's on good. Now. That means when you're just operating in the Spirit of the living God. People of God, I want you to understand that, that God is trying to lead us and have us being led by the Holy Spirit. I looked at the word lead. I know, I know it's led, but led is the past part of simple of lead. Amen? Amen. So I looked at the word lead, like if you're leading. And I'm always, I'm a student of the word. I love to read and define words. The word led means to go with. To go with one by holding them by the hand. Come on now. Come on, that, that's deep right there. To lead, that, that's, that, you know, lead is the past part of simple of lead. It means to go with one. Holding them by the hand. Anybody ever held hands with somebody before? Come on, yeah. Well, like I'm, uh, let me give you a good example. When you're a child, you're trying to cross the street. What did your mama do? She held your hand. And why she do that to make sure that you made it across? Amen. The Holy Spirit is saying, "That's what I want to do with you." Come on, I want to make sure you make it over. So instead, make sure you don't stay on the other side. Make sure you don't stay in, in that depression. Make sure you don't stay in that pain. Make sure you don't stay in that on the on the side of the track you're not supposed to. He said, "You know, I want to take you by the hand and lead you across." safely. You must understand that that's what the Holy Spirit desires to do. If you can keep that in mind, I look up, look another word says to escort. Mm. Come on now. Do you realize that having an escort, to having the Holy Spirit actually escort you? That's nice. You know, right when you're there. going on a date, talk to hey, him and I. That's nice. And right you have there. a personal escort. I'm not talking about dating a person, I'm mm -hmm. talking about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Where he is there with you, mm. he's there guiding you. He's there, you know, directing your footsteps. See, many of you, it's been a while, but the Lord God said, I need to date you again. Mm. Wow. So, I need to allow the Holy Spirit to wow. date you again. Wow. That means you're not pushed and shoved and pushed all around, you know, because normally, hurry, hurry up. You're just nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow. Yeah. You're almost like you're gliding. You're like, oh, yes, Holly, Nice and slow. You want to good. Nobody's in a rush, you see. When, when you're led by the Holy Spirit, there's no emergencies. Yes. When you're walking with the Lord, because He reveals everything. everything. Yes. Hallelujah. That some of you may need to understand that that when you walk with the Holy Spirit, God begins to reveal something to you. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna lay this thing down. Help me, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. I'm pressing right there. You must understand that the Holy Spirit says that He will tell you all things. Hey. Come on now. Some of you may be wondering, well, Lord, I need some answers. Well, I encourage you, you need to be led by the Holy Spirit <laughs> yes. because God will give you all the answers that you need. Yes. Thank Thank you, Lord God. But when you're led by the Holy Spirit, we're in Galatians 15. As I said, He will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. But I want you to turn to one more passage oh in goodness. the name of Jesus. Get your Bibles and turn there uh, to John. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. John chapter 16 and 13. Yeah. Hallelujah. John, St. John. Thank you, Lord God. Chapter 16. And verse number 13. Let's see what the word of the Lord God says right there in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at the Holy Spirit is saying right there. 
Thank you, Lord. He said, however, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. Yes, Lord. I'm going to tell you. That passage right there, you want to know what's going on? When you're led by the Holy Spirit, he said, I'm going to lead you into all truth. Yes, you Lord. know what? In this, in this day and age, you know what? People are going to all psychic network. All right. Uh, what's, the, what's that? Uh, mm. a medium. Horoscopes and baroscopes and zodiac this and cat like that. Oh, come on out to name man. Come on. Don't act like I'm strange. Y'all know them television commercials. Uh, get all your fortune rag. You know. Yeah, I'm a, let me show you. You better keep Pandora box closed. Yeah. You mess around and open up that Pandora box. You're going to have demons you'll be dealing with. Your children going to be dealing with. And your children's children going to be dealing with. Oh my God. If you open up Pandora, you know when you have Pandora for music, that means you don't have to set the dial. You, you know, let me teach a little bit right there. Because Pandora, we, we think about it for music. Whenever we set out our music box to Pandora, it'll pull any long as you choose one song right okay. and it'll pull all the songs that's kind of like right. the one song that you pull mm -hmm. when you get that thing in the spirit room you Ooh. open up pandora's box with any type of witchcraft horoscope for me it'll pull just what you want mm. then it'll begin to pull everything from every other place that's similar to what you just asked for oh. and then you're wondering why you having all this hell why your children having all this hell and why the things that are continuing why because pandora's box been open mm. but when you're led by the holy spirit the lord got said you don't need to go to the psychic network oh my god you can put your people god. on the real my quick god. You know, the, I, never got a, I never got a word like that. They need Jesus what they need. Yes. Yeah. Huh. That's what they need. Huh. You see, all that, but you know, this day and age, people, everybody want to know something. Talk to me now. Oh, okay. Who I'm going to marry? Mm. Uh, when I'm going to get married? <laughs> How much money I'm going to get? <laughs> uh, everybody want to know something. Wait, wait, hold on. Well, like, when I'm going to get my car? When I'm going to get What kind of money I'm going to have? Everybody want to know something. Is so and so, is he going to come back? Will she ever leave? Wow. Come on now. That's bad. No, you know what? You can bring it all to the Lord. Yes, Lord. That's right. When you are walking right. and led by the Holy Spirit, the Bible said you're like a wait a minute. But by my word says remind him of his word. Amen. So if you're like wondering, you know what? When you I don't know how you pray, but when you give it to the Lord, Lord, you said in your word. That you would remember, you would that you said that you would lead me into all truth. Yes. You would guide me. You said whatever, but whatever you hear, you will speak. He said, you will tell me all things to come. So Lord God, what's what's up ahead for me? Come all right now. 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 that's some real talk, right? Yeah, there. So yeah. Nobody know how to pray like that. Real right there. Right now. But whenever you're in relationship and you're being led by the Spirit, you can pray that way yes, and say, Lord. Father, I would desire to know the things that are up ahead. He said, I'll never leave you in the dark. Come that's on, right. Now. He said, yeah. Lord, so I'll never right. leave you nor forsake you. I want you to know the Lord God said, He said, I'll make a way out of no way. Oh, hey. that's that right. God is God, yeah. and that truly hey. is here. You're led, but you're led to be fed. Then the Holy Spirit will not ever leave you into a place right, where He can't Lord. get you out. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the Bible says. Oh my says. God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. You mm. must understand that the Lord God said in the book of Hebrews, He said there's always a way of escape. Yes, oh, I want you to yes, know Lord. there's not a door, not a problem that you can't get out of. All right. All I want right. you to know that every if you sit Come back on. and think and look over your oh. life, that there have been some things you have gotten yes, yourself that you got yourself. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's Lord. right. You that's right. Pretty bad ball, pretty yep. good looking self. Yep. Got yourself yep. in there. Yep. Come on. And now yep. you're trying to figure out how to get out. Oh, <laughs> but if you stand upon the word of God, he oh, said, the Lord God said, I provide a way of escape. Yes, it yes. may be a small little way, but you know what? That phone didn't ring. You better take it. Oh, that's a way Thank of you, escape. Thank you, Lord. That door didn't open. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, we look over those little things. We think, oh, no. I don't know. The, uh, uh, that's called a way of escape. You're trying to get out of a matter, and it didn't call you? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You up there wondering, what are you going to say? They never call you. Come on now, Pastor. You ain't even got to lie. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You're delivered twice. You're delivered twice. You're delivered from lying. Yeah, yeah. That's good the right there. They call, uh, yeah. you're struggling. Uh. Uh. Oh. You don't know what to say. At times, you, you don't know what to say. So many times, well, you know what? Sometimes God has given us the answer and told us what to do. You know what we do? Mm. Uh, uh, I, I got. Uh, let me let me pray. 
that you, it took you too long to say that. Yeah. If you know right away, whenever the Lord got his ministry, that's how you know. I'm trying to deliver some of y'all up there. Yeah. Some people tell you when they take that long, Stop. It's automatic. <laughs> Whenever they, when it's the Lord that's trying to tell you, if they grow up front, I, I must pray about it. That's the Lord. Amen. 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 If they're the, oh, Lord, my God, that's a lie. The Lord God has already told them that they need to do it, but they don't want to do it, so they're gonna tell you they're gonna pray about it. That's a believer, sir. Am I talking to you? This word not for the sinners, it's for the saints. Okay? All right. Not for the sinners, for the saints, because we don't know how to tell people no. We don't know how to say no. no. Ah. Mm. I'm unable to tell the truth. Now, see, people don't like the truth. You're going to hurt their feelings. I'd rather you tell me the truth, hurt my feelings now, no, than no. me you have to deal with some foolishness at all. Hey. All right, now, come yeah, on yeah, now. Yeah. But when you're led to be fed, no. you don't have a problem with telling the truth. Amen. Come on now. Wow. You don't have a, now, you may not have many friends. <laughs> <laughs> you may not have many friends, y'all. Let's just clarify. When you're led to be fed, you may not have many friends because they're going to try to avoid. Oh, no, not to her. No, because <laughs> <No. laughs> she's going to tell me that um, they want somebody that's going to flatter them. Let's go over there. And uh -huh. like that person, who yeah. No, but you want the truth, they're going to look at them. And so they don't like to be in your fellowship because you, you'll tell them, no, that's not right. That's not the one. I don't like that. No, no, no. So they don't like to sit close to you. Mm. But see, when you're led by the Holy Spirit, mm. those individuals are marked. I'm telling you, those individuals are marked. Say, I'm led to be fed. I'm, I'm led, led to, to be, be fed. fed. You must understand in this passage, right? Somebody needs to put their name by it in John chapter uh, John 16 and 13. Because whenever you want to know something, the Holy Spirit says he will tell you things to come. You don't have to worry about what's in your future. The Lord God says, I All know right. what's already there. All he right. said, you just got to go to me with it. Yeah. And stop, mm. stop calling everybody. You know what? You don't need to call that prayer war. Call King Jesus. That's it. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. No, nothing against the prayer war. It's to God be the glory. But sometimes God want to give you a direct download. Come on now. Sometimes he don't want anybody else to know. All Come on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on, Lord. Come on up in here. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. You got to be careful not to open up your mouth. Come on, Lord. Because if you open it, because you're led to be fed. Because if you open up your mouth to the wrong sister, the wrong brother, I think that's a five-year plan. Wait a minute. Right now. He gave me a 911 in my spirit. If I don't move on this now, Gonna My God. But then yet you want to get two or three brothers and sisters mm. and converse with them. Oh, that's a five year plan. I don't see that. That's a far off. The devil is alive. The devil is alive. Come, come, alive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. come on, Pastor. Let me the Holy Spirit all up come in on. this message tonight. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. Come on. When you're led to be fed, you must understand yeah. that there are just some things that God may want to tell you directly. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Men Lord. of God. They're, they're, God says, I don't need a filter. I don't need to go. You know, and no disrespect, I stand in the office. But you know what? Sometimes the word may not come from the woman of God. Mm -hmm. May not come from your pastor. Yeah, the Lord God right. may use a babe to speak to you. My like, God. Wait a minute, God. Yeah, right. May use a small child and say, out of the mouth of babe. You're like, wait a minute, God. Yeah. Yeah. You said, Lord God, I went to a fire service and a baby talked to me. <laughs> That's right. That's when you're led to be fed. That means that you don't that you don't despise who the who the word is right. coming from. That's Come right. on, Lord. If you're to be fed, if a baby got a word, I want to hear it. Listen, let me talk. Let that baby talk. Uh, let that baby cry. Mm -hmm. Say something because that baby talking. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, yes, that baby talking. Yes, In the name of Jesus, because children are so sensitive to the spirit of the living God. Yes, you may not realize that. That's why we always pay attention whenever children are crying. Spiritually, why? Because they are sensitive to the Holy Spirit. They, they, they will be sent. You bring them in a place that ain't got the right spirit. So check them. All right. They are. Thank you. Come on now. There, there's a difference between. A ba there's a difference. Yes, there Mom, is. Dad, you know when your child is just kind of being a little mischief. But when they just completely just out the way, tell the truth, Malachi, in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. When they completely out the way, Call. That means something's going on with her. You see? Thank you, Lord God. There is a difference, mm. but see, there is a discerning in it. Did you hear what I said? When they're just all out the way, all the time, there's constantly nothing. There's a spirit that may be lurking. Children are sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And God's trying to tell we need to be led to be fed. 
That means whenever we're done, even in our conversation, people of God, you must understand that even when you pray, that sometimes you may not know how to pray, but in Romans 8, 26, he said, the Holy Spirit will pray through you. Yes. With moanings and groanings. You ever been in a place or you ever experienced someone you don't know how to pray? Yes, Romans 8. Oh, that's a good assignment for you. <laughs> Read Romans 8, the whole chapter. Amen. That whole thing is nothing but some power for yes, me right Lord. there. Romans 8, 26 says the Holy Spirit will.